Hey everybody, Scout Crafter here again. Today we have a uh, look at another unusual tool. Whether or not it's a gimmick tool, I don't know. Uh, let's check it out. I, I know I get some really interesting feedback on these tools, uh, on whether some people could use them or not use them, so it's always fun. So let's go check this one out. Okay, today's uh, project is a, uh, we're gonna look over this uh, NOS, or New Old Stock, Stanley Hexamatic. And you can see here what this fits. And uh, here's, uh, it says the instructions for the use of hexamatic are here. And you can see here it says here's the instructions on how to use it. And it also has the, uh, the sizes it fits. You know, it, all these socket head screws, all of these hex head screws, and of course all these hex nuts. Here is what the item looks like. Again, this is new old stock. Uh, it has, now this is what we affectionately call shelfware. This is another BS term like patina. <laughs> shelfware. Remember that because one day you're going to order something that the guy says is brand new but it's got some shelfware. I've uh, I've seen guys get something totally rusted. You wouldn't even know if the thing was new or not but anyway that's shelfware because they're saying well it gets you know worn from being in the box. Shelfware. It's, it's, forget it. So what we're going to do is we're going to address this. We're going to take care of it and then we're going to go and show you exactly what this cool little Stanley Hexamatic does, and what do you think? It's a gimmick or not, but it is a cool looking tool. Okay, we finished the, uh, the refurbish or restoration. Really, there wasn't much to it, but you can see we got rid of everything that was uh, not supposed to be there. Lubricated it, it's all nice and lubed, and we polished out the handle. Look how nice, I like these handles, these old uh, Stanley handles with that, that almost yellowish translucent uh, acetate. So let me show you how this works. This is the second one I have. The first one had a set of retractable hexagon sleeves and that's how that worked. And you can see here the difference. The second one here has almost like a, uh, a clamping where it clamps down on whatever nut. Uh, it, it seems to work pretty well. I've been trying it out. So let me show you how that works with some nuts and bolts. And I picked out some uh, fasteners that these set of fits and I'll show you how this grips. Now this is in its wide open position again. That's in its closed position. So in its wide open position we'll take a uh, just a regular hex nut and put it in here. And then we'll close it onto the hex nut. And you can see that it does grip it all on all the flats which is a, a pretty uh, nice situation for one of these uh, adjustable ones. Here's a, a little bit larger of a bolt. We'll put this in here, push it down, and you can see again how it grips on all the flats. Um, here's a socket head screw. Now with the socket head screw, it's supposed to work on that too. We'll put that in and we'll uh, push this down and it's gripping all the way around it and I do it will not slip so it does you know it does give some gripping I have to say this is a uh, much better than the other one I had now if it'll work uh, let's see you remember these old sheet metal screws a lot of them didn't have slots in it these are uh, the newer type that have the slot but a lot of them didn't especially if you did any radio work so we'll just take a piece of wood here I'm just gonna put a starting hole in it with an awl and uh, we'll put it in and see if we can get this started so what we'll do is we'll close it around here and just leave it like that and then we'll see if we can if it'll work without holding it or anything else so we'll screw this in like this and it seems to be working without slipping and there's that little knurled area here on the bottom that you could hold it like this and slide it back and forth but it does seem to uh to work and and we'll drive the screw in just as long as you keep pressure on that, that it keeps closed. Now, one interesting feature about this design, you see it has a little bit of a spring load to it. And when you push down on it like this, it will automatically seat. See, I didn't even push it. And I'm pushing down. The harder you push in, the more it'll grip, which does a really nice job. And you can see we, we took that flush all the way in. So, and that does uh, a nice job. I, I have to tell you, it does work, surprisingly. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, I just gave you some best case scenarios on how this thing operates. And uh, 
And let's see if you, you can do something that, like for example, with extended thread, you know? See now, this is where the nut drivers, when you have a regular nut driver set like this, this is where they fail on you, is when you have something like this with the, the bolt is coming through the nut and you see you just, you can't fit it on there. So um, that's a problem. And even no matter what size you have, you've run into that same problem. If you have anything that extends over like half an inch, you know, you're SOL. Now, with a situation like this, now these are these are called nut drivers, and, and I, I have a fondness for these because I bought these about 30 years ago and those about 25 years ago. These are standard, those are metric, both craftsmen. I love these sets, and um, I remember I was saving up, you know, you're saving up to buy a car and then eventually a house, and you don't have a lot of money, and, and these things were always expensive, even back then, and I, I kept waiting for them to come on sale, and then I finally got them both on sale, you know, they were like $25 for the set on sale back then, but... Um, I really like these and what what's so nice about these obviously is that they had the hollow shank you know so unlike a, a nut driver set or something like that that comes with a socket set if you had a situation like this that's no problem that's where these shine a nut driver and uh, eventually you wind up getting them and they're a really a good tool to have however with this I thought we would run into the same problem. I said, well, you know, it's probably going to be just like, like that. It won't ha it'll have limited area, but check this out. I slip this on here and look at that. It works. So that has a hollow that stays hollow. If you could see all the way down. So it, it does uh, it, the way it's designed is very thoughtful that you can use it like a real nut driver instead of just a, a socket set nut driver. So in closing this Stanley hex matic do you think it's a gimmick or do you think this one has a little bit of value to it? Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thanks very much for tuning in. Take care and have a nice day.